Welcome to 10.2 Areas of Circles. Now, as I'm sure you've worked with plenty of times, the area of a circle uh, is that the area equals pi times the radius squared. So for the area of this circle right here, our radius is six, so our area could be written as pi times six squared. Well, six squared is 36, so that's pi times 36, or it's sometimes written as 36 pi. If your homework ever asks you to leave this as an exact answer, your answer would be 36 pi. And unless it tells you to maybe use 3.14 for pi, or it might tell you to use 27 or 22 sevenths for pi, because that's that fraction is actually pretty close. Uh, but if it ever doesn't specify, you can be done right here. You don't actually have to multiply by 3.14 or anything else unless it tells you to. Now, if your book is expecting you to multiply further, it might have a different number as your answer. Uh, so you might have to multiply it out to check to make sure you got the right answer. But as is, this is a perfectly acceptable answer for me. Uh, so let's find the area of a circle with a diameter of 10 inches. Well, if you remember, a diameter uh, is twice the radius. So 10 inches is actually two radii put together. Uh, so one radius is going to equal five inches, which means our area is equal to pi times our radius squared. Five squared is 25. So our answer would be 25 pi. Uh, and let me just double check that what your book does here. Yeah, your book is generally substituting 3.14 in for pi. So up here for 36 pi, uh, if you used 3.14 instead of pi, uh, that's actually going to come out to be, uh, oh, actually, sorry, on that one, that they just left as 36 pi. My bad. But on this one, instead of 25 pi, uh, they then multiplied 25 by 3.14 for your pi. Um, that's going to be approximately 78.5. Uh, inches squared. Now, sometimes you might go from an area and have to work your way back to find the radius. So in this case, we're given an, we're, we have an area of a circle that is 530.66 feet squared. Uh, I'm going to just cut off the units for a second. Uh, but we know it's feet squared is equal to pi, so we'll just call it 3.14, times our radius squared. The reason I'm putting 3.14 in now uh, is because it gives us something to divide by. So you can try to get the radius by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by 3.14. Uh, and when we do that, we'll come out with the radius squared uh, is going to be equal uh, to 169. Well, now to get the radius by itself, you just need to take the square root of both sides. And you'll find out that the radius is equal to 13. Ooh, so not sure if any of you like hockey, uh, but here's a sort of a rough outline of what the far end of a hockey rink looks like. Uh, between your two face-off circles, you have a distance of 14 feet. And from the center of each face-off circle to the center of the other one is a distance of 44 feet. We want to find the combined area of the two face-off circles like together. Well, that means we need to figure out what our radii are, or what is the radius of one circle. Well, we know that is 44 from one side all the way to the other, so 44. And if we subtract that gap of 14 in between, where it's not actually part of the circle, minus 14, that will leave us with 30 feet. And all that's left is one radius, two radius. So 30 has to equal two radii. Well, now we can just divide by 2 to solve for r. We discover that our radius equals 15 feet. So uh, to find the area of the circle, it'd be pi times the radius of 15 squared. Uh, 15 squared is 225, so 225 pi. That's the area of one circle. But we actually have two identical circles here, so we need to double this. So if we just double it or multiply by two, we would have uh, 450 pi, which then if we multiply that by 
3.14 for pi, uh, that would come out to about uh, 1,413 feet squared, because it's area. And that would be our answer. So that is probably the hardest type of problem you could potentially run into. Other than that, it's just finding areas or going from an area back to a radius or diameter. So good luck. Make sure you read your questions carefully and let me know if you have any questions.